T-minus one minute, 30 seconds, and counting. All systems are go. About 90 seconds away from the launch of Space Shuttle Discovery on her final mission. It's a whisper screen! I'm going to start videotaping you about 20 seconds. Good. Do you want to win this game? Thank you, sir. T-minus one minute, 10 seconds, and counting. The liquid hydrogen tank inside the external tank is now at the proper flight pressure. T minus one minute and counting. The ground launch sequencer will verify that the three main engines are ready to start. The booster joint heaters are being deactivated at this time. T minus 48 seconds and we're transferring to orbiter internal power. Discovery is now running on its three onboard fuel cells. Coming up on a go for auto sequence start at T minus 31 seconds. 30 seconds, guys, keep watching. And we have a go for auto sequence start. Discovery's onboard computers have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. 20 seconds. The sound ben, keep and water keep system has been activated, protecting Discovery and the launch pad from acoustical energy waves. Go for main engine start. We have main engine start. Two, one, booster ignition, and the final liftoff of Discovery. A tribute to the dedication and hard work and pride of America's space shuttle team. The shuttle has cleared the tower. Roger roll, Discovery. This is Mission Control Houston. The space shuttle now rolling over onto its back for the eight and a half minute ride into orbit. Discovery now making one last reach for the stars. Discovery returns to space, kids. That's the liftoff because the sound travels slower than the light bend. It takes longer for the sound to get through the area of maximum That's what it sounded like it left off from the shuttle as it goes supersonic. Acknowledging the call from Captain Thomas Carter Hill by as Discovery's three main engines throttle back up. They go to space! Lindsay is joined on the flight deck by pilot Eric Bowe and mission specialist Dallas Drew and Nicole Staunt. Mission specialist Mike Barrett and Steve Bowen. Discovery's three main engines are burning fuel at a rate that would drain an average swimming pool in about 25 seconds. The engines combined with the solid rocket boosters produce more than 7 million yep. pounds of thrust. One minute, 50 seconds into the flight, we're standing by for separation of the twin solid rocket boosters. Oh, Discovery oh, wow. now Guys, traveling 2,695 miles an hour. It's altitude 24 miles. Downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 29 miles. Do you see it? They just dropped the solid rocket boosters, guys. They're falling. You're kidding. Yeah, you can see the flames. Don't you see it? Booster separation confirmed. Discovery's guidance is now converging as the shuttle's onboard computer. It's a little white dot falling. Yeah, it's falling. Two minutes, 25 seconds into the flight. Discovery's traveling 3,189 miles an hour. 37 miles. Downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 53 miles. Discovery now getting a boost into orbit from the twin orbital maneuvering system engines on either side of the shuttle's tail. These two engines will burn for two minutes and 32 seconds. Two engines south. Uh, we do have updates to your no-com mode boundary, and we did launch late into pain one, our only pain. The uh, contingency aboard boundary tool user in plane plus plus 230. Let me know when you're ready to copy the new press date, Yo, and press the Miko.